ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله in the previous four episodes we mentioned that every dawa worker must have certain qualities and we spoke that he should have the right concept of tawhid he must have the right concept of prophethood and he must have the right concept of the hereafter al akhirah and he must love obey and om- imitate the last prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he is a role model for the entire mankind he is a mercy to the mankind now today in this session we shall talk about the importance of, of acquiring knowledge a man who wants to involve himself in the activity of dawa of islam he must constantly increase his knowledge number 1 he should start he should start with the knowledge of seera the first thing he must read is the seera of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam any 5 to 10 books the basic books about the life history of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his birth his youth his marriage his early life and his life after he was made a prophet at the age of 40 then 30 years 13 years of his life after the prophethood in makka in which 90 chapters of the Quran were revealed and the last 10 years of his life after migration to Medina until the age of 63 so the seera is very important this is the first step without seera without the knowledge of the seera it is impossible for him to make dawa then then he must know the quran the last book of allah subhanahu wa taala in arabic language and he shall try to learn arabic language because with the help of english translations or translations in other languages he can understand to some extent but the original uh, beauty of the quran is in the arabic text and the arabic text is called al quran the translations are made in more than 250 languages of the world but they are not called quran they are translations of the quran the quran is revealed in arabic language al arabi al fusha arabiya mubin so the dawa worker it struggles uh, and he learns arabic language and ultimately he 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 reaches to a point where he can understand the quran without the help of translations and that is what is needed then he constantly studies the books of ahadith as i told you earlier there are two basic sources of law and knowledge in islam al quran and as sunnah so he must have the books of ahadith he must have sahih al bukhari which is the most authentic book after the quran he must have sahih muslim which is the most authentic book after sahih al bukhari and so on he must have a good library at his house he must know the seera and the life history 
of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He must have the books on Ahkam al-Quran and Ahkam al-Sunnah. He must have books on Halal and Haram, lawful and unlawful. And he doesn't have to have a degree. But, but he must be increasing his knowledge every day, every day. And then only his knowledge is kept alive and he is very much effective in, the, in communication. So it's a constant process, a process and he is involved with the knowledge until his last breath. And uh, if, if you are in this part of the world, United States, or if you are in Europe or in Canada or Australia, you must not only have Arabic books, but you must have English books about the stories of prophets, about the stories of the companions of Rasulullah and about the life history of some of the noble personalities of Islam. You know, we know their sacrifices for the service of Islam, the humble servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So knowledge is very, very important. Quran clearly says, La yastabil lazina ya'lamuna wal lazina la ya'lam. People with knowledge and people without knowledge can never be equal. Quran clearly says, Those people who are given knowledge, certainly they are superior. Quran teaches us a dua, Rabbi zidni ilm. Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. Increase me in knowledge. Rabbi zidni ilman. Rabbi zidni ilman. So Islam highly encourages people to learn more and more. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allama. It is reported by Imam Bukhari. The best among you is one who acquires the knowledge of Qur'an and he imparts to others. So a dawah worker is a good student. And not only that, he is a permanent student. Until his last breath, he keeps on acquiring knowledge. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Man qaraja fi talab al-ilmi fahuwa fi sabilillahi hatta yarja. Though this is uh, a weak tradition, uh, but uh, it is reported that he said that whosoever goes from his house seeking knowledge, he is in the path of Allah until he returns. And the Sahih Hadith of Sahih Muslim says, Talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim. So the acquiring of knowledge is made an obligation on every single Muslim, whether he is, whether he is in a village or a city. You see, whether he is a boy or a girl, man or woman, whether he is a doctor or engineer or simple worker, Whosoever he may be acquiring, if knowledge is highly encouraged by Islam. And uh, if he doesn't have the knowledge, how can he make his dawah? How can he impart his knowledge? We have to mention at this point that the knowledge has to be sound and authentic. He should not gossip. He should not talk in vain. Whenever he is quoting something from the Quran, he should give a reference that this is from Surah Al-Baqarah. 
This is ayah number so and so from Surat Al Imran. This is for, from Surat Al Ankabut. This is from Surat Al Zumar. And this is the ayah number. Similarly, a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, so the da'wah worker is, is a responsible person. He doesn't uh, say anything uh, without sound knowledge. He always gives references. So this is also an individual quality that is needed from, an, from a worker of the Islamic movement. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين